it's Caitlin here. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and I do encourage you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Today's video is my next episode of Twin Tuesdays. So I am 23 weeks pregnant with twins, two babies, two babies in my belly. Um, I want to apologize. I didn't do a 22 weeks pregnant because of all the Christmas hustle bustle. It was ridiculous. We were barely home. We were constantly on the go driving to different places. It was ridiculous. So I was just like, screw it. I'm not doing 22 weeks. I'm just going to relax and enjoy this time with family and everything like that. But I did show my belly at 22 weeks on my vlog channel. So if you guys are following my vlog channel, awesome. If you aren't, you can check it out at Reasons to Smile right there. So it's more behind the scenes of this whole pregnancy, my life, everything, as well as every week I show my belly over there anyways. So if you did want to see what my belly looked like at 22 weeks, just head on over to the vlog channel and you can check it out on my last vlog that I uploaded. But today I am talking about 23 weeks pregnant. So I'm going to talk about my size, the baby's size, symptoms, all of that jazz. Excuse me. And let me just say that the being breathless and not being able to breathe has definitely not gone away. It hasn't really worsened, but it is still here and it still sucks. But let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit about these babies. So as I said, I'm 23 weeks pregnant. Um, you are a week or so away from com completing what is usually termed as the honeymoon stage of the pregnancy. And don't worry because things will get better. This particular week is quite crucial. It is during this week that the mother and her babies gain a majority of the weight. You'll soon move to the final trimester of the pregnancy. Uh, as for weight, um, I think the last time I checked in with you guys, I was at 170 and I was at 21 weeks. I'm just 171 and I'm at 23 weeks, so nothing too crazy with weight gain. Uh, while the previous weeks might have been filled with numerous changes and interesting developments with regards to the growth of your twins, this week is usually calm on that front. The focus primarily stays on keeping their growth um, unabated and letting things progress at their natural pace. The skin covering your babies around this time is still a bit shrunk and wrinkled since the fat deposits on their, on their baby skin are yet to reach a quantity that can stretch the skin to a proper limit. That translucent red skin could make the babies look weird, but this will pass in the coming months once fat, more fat stores develop underneath. Uh, if you tried listening to the heartbeat of your little ones, but you had to wait for the ultrasound scans for that to happen, you are in for a treat. Usually around the 23rd week, the hearts of both twins will be stronger and will pump blood even more intensely. This can make it possible for you to hear the heartbeats by merely using a stethoscope or at-home Doppler. I used a Doppler at like eight weeks and I found a heartbeat, so I kind of figured that like, Hearing them at eight weeks, I was like, hmm, it's a bit weird to hear them that soon, but oh well. And then I figured out it was twins, and then it was just crazy since then. So I haven't really used the Doppler since because I can't tell which baby's which. Uh, by this time, your twins will grow quite rapidly. One of the last organs to develop are the lungs. However, babies do tend to make attempts at breathing as they practice it inside, making similar movements that they would mimic once they are out in the real world. With brain development reaching a significant milestone and eyes growing in strength, you might occasionally notice your babies dreaming actively inside. This also manifests in rapid eye movement under the eyelid and random body movements. I definitely <laughs> feel them kicking. Matthew can feel them kicking. I can see them kicking. I haven't been able to catch an on camera of them actually kicking, but I am trying to because when I do, I will definitely put it on one of my updates, but so far right now, I haven't been able to catch it. I pull up my camera to go take a video of it and they just stop kicking. It's super frustrating because they're so strong. So the size of the babies. Your babies will now mature from the size of a coconut 
to a wonderful mango. The growth would seem substantial when compared to how they were in the previous week. The length of the babies when measured appropriately would usually be somewhere around 28 centimeters or 11 and a half to 12 inches with weight of 500 grams or a pound, 1.1 pound. So I got two pounds, possibly two pounds of baby in me if they're growing accordingly to what this app is saying I definitely feel it it hurts in my hips and my vagoober I feel the pressure I feel the pain the size of twins would increase massively in the next couple of weeks common bodily changes most women usually have a calm pregnancy in the 23rd week any changes that occur in the body are all a remnant of the previous weeks carrying forward or growing in intensity so just the way your tummy keeps on increasing at its pace, your breast would grow in size too. Haven't noticed that, just my belly has been growing. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Just my belly has been growing. This will continue for a week or two, then they would reach your full size. This enlargement is not simply a physical aspect. There are different developments happening within them. The mammary glands begin to activate gradually to provide milk to the baby's post delivery some women might begin to secrete a yellowish color leakage from the breast which is pretty thick this is the very first milk that your breast will produce and it is termed as colostrum yes my boobies have been leaking colostrum um even after jackson weaned, weaned himself from breastfeeding my boobs still leaked a bit from when he was 10 months up until when I got pregnant. Then when I got pregnant, my boobs just poof, nothing. No leaking, no drips, nada. But in the past, I think four weeks, my boobs have started leaking colostrum as well as milk again. So that is fun. I know this doesn't mean anything. Like it's still gonna take two, three, maybe four days for my breast milk to come in once the babies are here. Hopefully it will come in sooner, but common thing is two to four days so um, with your pregnancy rushing the hormones lose control all over again and tend to fluctuate randomly as a result you may feel low and sad for nothing in particular and then suddenly you may be happy and deliriously cheerful for the rest of the day every day or week might seem unique in that aspect and it is best to keep track of what you feel by journaling your thoughts Preeclampsia is a serious medical condition that can affect pregnant women at any time. One of the major signs is swelling that occurs rapidly and is excessively large and persists for long. In other cases, swelling normally goes away in some time. This is termed as edema and strongly affects the legs. One of the major causes of this is reprodu re reduced <laughs> blood circulation since all the focus is on the uterus receiving the bulk of the supply. The kind of swelling can be handled, sorry, this kind of swelling can be handled by keeping your legs elevated and bringing down the amount of sodium you consume as part of your diet. So symptoms of pregnancy at 23 weeks. So Braxton Hicks is one of them. Um, I think I get Braxton Hicks. Like if I'm up and walking too much, my belly gets really hard and starts hurting and I have to sit down. Like I could be walking for maybe a minute and it's just like too much for me. Uh, swelling, I don't have any swelling of my hands or my feet, so that is good. Um, uh, no blood in my mouth or like gingivitis problems with my teeth, so that is another good thing. So, that is it for symptoms and everything going on with the size and the babies and all of that jazz. Next, it's to show you my belly. So, here it is. Alrighty, so here is my belly from the side at 23 weeks. Here's my belly from the front at 23 weeks. And the other side. So as you can see, it's getting a little bit rounder. Nothing too crazy. It's like boiling frogs. It's just, I don't notice a difference for me, but I'm sure you guys do. But yeah, so here's my belly with twins at 23 weeks. I'm going to post a picture there of what I was like at 23 weeks with just Jackson. So let me know in the comments down below if you think I am the same size or if I'm bigger. Let me know in the comments down below. But 
that's my belly. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this next episode of 23 Weeks Twin Tuesdays pregnant with twins so don't forget to like share favorite and subscribe to my channel as well as comment down below if you think I am bigger if you think I'm the same size as I was with one baby I'd love to hear what you guys think as well as put some questions down below like I feel like all I'm doing is reading off the app to you guys and I want to like engage you guys more in these videos so let me know questions you have for me down below twin related not twin related just let me know and until next time stay beautiful okay